So, let us look at the next question. The next question we have is question number 15 and the question number 15 says that on March 31st, 2006 after the close of the accounts, see students most of you must be getting uh, everything same just instead of 2006, uh, NCRT must have made it 2016. So, it does not make any difference. Okay. On March 31, 2006 after the close of accounts, the capital of mountain, hill and rock stood in the books of the firm at rupees 4 lakh, 3 lakh and 2 lakh respectively. Subsequently, it was discovered that interest on capital at the rate of 10 percent per annum had been omitted. Okay, They forgot to give interest on capital at the rate of 10 percent per annum. The profit for the year amounted to rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand and the partners drawings had been mountain 20 thousand, uh, then hill 15 thousand and rock 10 thousand calculate interest on capital. Now, in this question, you do have to remember that interest on capital is always calculated on the opening capital. Okay. The capitals which are given are at the close of accounts. Okay. These are the closing capitals. So, first thing first we need to do is from closing capital first we need to calculate the opening capital and then we have to provide interest on capital on that. Let us check. Question 15. So, first thing working note calculation of opening capital. We will calculate the opening capital together of mountain. hill and rock. So, the closing capital has been given to us. Four lakh, three lakh and two lakh. Uh, from closing to opening what we do we add we will add back the drawings. How much 20, 15 and 10. And what we will do we will subtract the profit. The profit must have been distributed to them. So, this the profit must have increased the capital. So, we will reduce the profits. Now, in which ratio the profit that was distributed to them was rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand okay? and they have not mentioned any ratio. So, we will assume that it to be 1 is to 1 is to 1. So, 50 each. So, let us see uh, we should get our opening capitals. There is no interest on drawing otherwise we would have adjusted for that too. So, it comes to 4 lakh 20 minus 50, 3 lakh 70 thousand, 315 minus 50, 2 lakh 65 thousand. And last 210 minus 50, 1 lakh 60,000. So, we already got our interest on capital. So, in uh, and we will do here only. So, capital at the rate of 10 percent per annum. Okay. Let us see 
on 3 lakh 70 thousand 10 percent comes to 37 thousand 2 lakh 65 26 thousand 516 thousand. So, the simple 10 percent we just calculated and we have our answer as 37 26 516 thousand. Okay. Now, let us look at question number 16. Following is the extract of the balance sheet of Nilkant and Mahadev as on March 31, 2007. On the asset side, they have 30 lakh rupees sundry assets. On the liability side, Nilkant's capital, Mahadev's capital, Nilkant's current account, Mahadev's current account, and it is the current accounts are given on the liability side. That means they have a credit balance, okay, and profit and loss appropriation balance 8 lakh. So that means it is still undistributed. They otherwise had it been distributed. So, the capitals would have uh, current accounts would have increased. Okay. So, it is still showing, so it is undistributed. During the year, Mahadev's drawings were rupees 30,000. Profit during the year 2007 is rupees 10, uh, 10 lakhs. Calculate interest on capital at 5 percent per annum for the year ending March 31st, 2007. And this is already the closing capital. So, let us solve it. So, because the profit is undistributed, we will assume that the, these are the open just the opening balances. Okay, the question becomes very simple then. Uh, we have to assume the, these to be the opening balances. Let us check once again. Yeah, nothing else is mentioned. So, we will assume it to be the opening balances because the PNL appropriation balance separate is given and this is fixed capital. How do we know it is fixed capital? Because uh, current account balances are given. So, we just have to calculate interest on capital. So, 10 lakh 5 percent, 10 lakh 5 percent, that is it. A simple question. Let us look at question number 17 now. Rishi is a partner in a firm. He withdrew the following amounts during the year ended 31st March 2007. So, how much he withdrew? He withdrew on May 1, 2006. On May 1, 2006, he withdrew rupees 12,000. On 31st July 2006, he withdrew 6000 like that on different different rates and different different amounts have been withdrawn. That is the reason we cannot use the shortcut method. Interest on drawing is charged at 9 percent per annum. Calculate uh, interest on drawings. Now, how we will calculate interest on drawings? We will calculate this interest on the based of one thing that for how many days the money was used and accordingly the interest will be calculated. Okay? So, let us say. Question 17, calculation of interest on capital. They have not mentioned any method, so we will not use the product method. Why to complicate our life? Okay. So, 
the money which was withdrawn on 1st May, I guess the first was yeah May 1 from May. So, entire May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So, entire 11 months interest will be charged on this, okay. Accordingly, when he bought, uh, he withdrew this money on 31st July, so 9 months interest. Why 9 months? Because the money was used by him for from 1st of August to 31st of March. Like this money which he withdrew on 30th September, he could only use from 1st of October, so 6 months. This is for uh, uh, 4 months, yes, December to March. This is for 3 months and this is for 0 days. So, accordingly we will charge our interest. May 1 he withdrew rupees 12,000. And rate of interest is 9 percent per annum, yeah. For how many months? 11 upon 12. Then next money, 31st July. He withdrew rupees 6000, 9 percent is the interest for from July it comes to uh, uh, he withdrew on July, so 31st July that too, so 8 months. Then he withdrew on 30th September, he withdrew rupees 9000, which he could use only for how many months, 6 months. Then he withdrew on 30th September, uh, uh, 30th November. Rupees 12,000. See, there is no shortcut way to do this. There is the product method, but we do not have to know that for 4 months. Then January 1. So, 3 months, how much? 8000. And the last one for 0. So, anything multiplied by 0, I know this answer for sure it is 0. Let us calculate the other, okay. So, 12,000 that comes to 1,000, okay, 90 into uh, 99 into 10, 990. This one comes to nine eight sa seventy two into five seventy two seven twenty three sixty. Yes, let me check. Yes, 360. Then we have nine into nine eighty one eight ten divided by two eight hundred ten divided by two. So four hundred five. Let's check. Yes, 405. Next one. Now, 9 into 4, 36, 360. Like that.
four one four two triple nine into twenty rupees one eighty. Yeah, I guess that is it. So, let us do the total and we will know our answer from 990. So, how much 990 plus 360 plus 405 plus 360 plus 180 the answer comes to double 295. This is our interest on drawings. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, or we'll do the next one in our next class. Thank you so much.